Hi and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host Ken Keith. We'd like to welcome all those of you in the local users group and those of you who are visiting with us on Vimeo and YouTube in the United States and around the world. Thanks for stopping by. On the screen you'll see a, a portion of my photo blog and uh, I talked about the bleach bypass effect here and there's been some interest uh, expressed by some other folks in this and I wanted to um, go over it uh, as a live demonstration and talk about a few enhancements and uh, give you some additional resources. So as I say here the the bleach bypass effect you see this in advertising a lot, you see this in the movies uh, most recently uh, the biggest movies are Three Kings, Saving Private Ryan and uh, if you watch those and, and look for it you'll see uh, this effect and basically what it is there is a bleach bath in color film processing whether it's the film like you use in a still camera movie film and then if you bypass or skip the bleach bath step in this processing uh, then the film silver stays in the image all or part of it and you get an image with increased contrast and low saturation. So let's take a look at how to do this digitally. I'm going to um, open up a scene from the Kansas City skyline and the Kansas City Scout. Uh, this is a, a JPEG image that um, is pretty much uh, as shot. Uh, it's, uh, a little bit on the yellow side and you can see the long shadows because it was taken in the late afternoon. So I just wanted to say that the quickest and easiest way other than having a plug-in which we'll talk about in a minute uh, is what I'm going to show you and then we'll talk about some variations. So after you open your image you, you have your background layer and I'm going to press Control J two times and that gives us two copies of the background layer and then I'm going to just simply highlight my middle copy and I'm going up then to enhance and adjust color and just simply remove the color from that layer. Now you don't see any effect here yet but you see it over here in your layers. And then uh, if you like you can, uh, this is one place to experiment is the opacity of the layer. A good starting point is somewhere uh, people that have messed with this have said around 80 percent or so. I'm going to be just a little bit higher there on that one. And once you do that and you go up to the top layer and you're just going to change the blend mode to soft light. And now you have something that's uh, very contrasty uh, there's not any outstanding uh, deeply saturated colors in that other than this fellow's uh, red striped shirt. So to get to bleach bypass effect that's the, the quickest and easiest way to do this in what I would call a manual mode. Now let's take this away. Oh, uh, before, uh, well, before we get away from that, while you, if you like, instead of desaturating this center layer uh, you can go up to enhance and just say convert to black and white instead and I like to use this infrared effect and click OK and you will get a variation on this theme by doing it that way and also if you like while you're on this layer you can add some noise to simulate some film grain film grain thank you filter noise, add noise, and then I'm going to choose uh, probably uniform and monochromatic. We don't want any speckled colors in there, uh, all the little red, green, blue pixels. We want it to be uh, look like regular, like a high speed film and click OK and now you have that, that grain effect too. So let's uh, do something else here. I'm, I've got the middle layer highlighted. I'm going to uh, hold down my shift key and highlight the top one and then I'm just going to drag those guys 
down to the trash bin. Now there are a couple of plugins. One is from Red Paw Media. That's just www.redpaw, like P A W Media, all one word. dot com. And uh, you you want to get the Bleach Bypass Pro. Now this is a free plugin, and it works in Photoshop and in Elements and uh, Paint, uh, as well as a couple of other programs. <coughs> Once again, no charge, but it has some very extensive applications of this effect, which uh, includes the ad addition of film grain, vignetting, and defocus control. So it's a, it's kind of a fun thing to play around with. And the other one is the plug-in suite from On One, and uh, I've got that one loaded here in File, Automation Tools. And this is the suite of On One Photo Essentials. It is the 3.0 version, and you'll find it in the one that's called Make It Cool. And go to Film and Darkroom, and there it is, Bleach Bypass. And you add that to your stack of filters that you want to apply. And there it goes. You can see that it's quite a bit like uh, what I had uh, created uh, otherwise. And just uh, you can use this fade slider here. If you go all the way up, um, that's a pretty good one. It's very contrasty. And then just hit apply there. And also you can go ahead within this interface and add things like film and noise. And uh, in some circumstances, quite a few of them, if you'd like to add a vignette, you can do that also. One easy way is just to go up to your filter gallery, correct camera distortion, and instead of doing distortion, we're going to go down here to vignette, and you can change your midpoint and your amount, and you can lighten it that way, but most of the time we want to go this other direction and darken that. And this changes your midpoint of your vignette and click OK. And that completes that effect. So you don't have to uh, do the make it cool. You can just tack on your vignetting uh, to the to what I'd call the manual mode of producing the bleach bypass effect. And it's also uh, interesting to do, and you may have seen this in some advertising media, the print, is to uh, use the effect on a portrait. Now let's, let's grab one of those here real quick. Let's get rid of all this stuff for us. And we'll get our friend Melody King here. And once again, we'll use the the simplified method. We're going to duplicate the background layer twice. Control J, Control J. Go to the middle layer. Go up to enhance. Adjust color. Remove color. Bring the opacity down a bit. Go to the top layer. And soft light. That's a very interesting effect. It reminds me of uh, something like a, a tin type or a, a toned black and white. You've got a lot of contrast going on here and um, low saturation of colors. Um, it's a really effective uh, method of adding interest uh, not only to female portraits but it really works well in rugged male portraits too. So experiment around with that. Have a lot of fun, and we'll talk again. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye now.